What's up, trendsetter kings and queens? Stick around, let's chill, and spill some trending tea. Trendsetters, we have Kanye West and Candace Owens trending today. Kanye was having his Yeezy fashion show. At one point, Ye walked out with Candace, and they both wore shirts displaying White Lives Matter. If you don't know who Candace Owens is, let's just say that she is a political commentator and activist. She is all Republican, and she is the woman that was trying to get the black voters to leave the Democratic Party back when President Trump was in office. We have Miss Salem Marley. She is the granddaughter of Bob Marley, the daughter of Lauren Hill and Rohan Marley. She modeled at the Yeezy Fashion Show as well. There were many children in attendance, including Kanye and Kim's daughter, Northwest. In the Yeezy fashion show, Kanye had everyone wearing the White Lives Matter. So let's talk about Kanye West's past. Kanye has shown right wing, like, he's kind of went that way. He's been shown wearing a Confederate flag on his jacket in the past, but you all need to see this West clip. West is facing backlash after a bizarre and explosive interview. Kanye's appearance on TMZ Live struck a nerve yesterday, and his most controversial comments about slavery have left many outraged. When you hear about slavery for 400 years, for 400 years, that sounds like a choice. <laughs> like, you was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? You know, like, it's like we're, we're mentally in prison. Kanye later explained himself on Twitter, saying his 400 years comment was to prevent people from being mentally imprisoned for another 400 years, and then compared himself to historic abolitionists Nat Turner and Harriet Tubman. He then shared a quote saying, I freed a thousand slaves. I could have freed a thousand more if only they knew they were slaves. That was attributed to Tubman, but there is no evidence she actually ever said that. Kanye also tweeted that when people talk about what he started today, they would call it the overground hell road. Will I Am, a friend of Kanye's, appeared on Good Morning Britain this morning and broke down when discussing Kanye's comments. That statement was one of the most ignorant statements that anybody that came from the hood could ever say about their ancestors, that slavery is a choice. What are you talking about? You know Kanye. Yeah, but that's not Kanye. What is what do you mean? What, what's he up to? What's he doing? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. To me, that's a, that's a different... The shirts displayed Pope John Paul II, as well as Juan Pablo II on the front and on the back said White Lives Matter. Trendsetters, next we have Miss Irina Shake. She's a supermodel that was dating Kanye when him and Kim dissolved their marriage. And she was at the Yeezy show and she posted this to her stories. I am Ye. Yes. And everyone here knows that I am the leader. Come on now. Yeah. When we went to Gap, the colorways wouldn't come back. A pant would be missing. A store in Atlanta wouldn't open. And it felt like we were just there to be slowed down. But there's no slowing us down now. We have nothing to lose and only everything to gain. And I don't want any of y'all to talk to me about pain. So, trendsetters, are you, I mean, do you guys think, like, these two are dating again? I don't know. Or is she just showing up for support? But you know what? After the show, Ye went out, and he greeted fans. He greeted paparazzi, you know. But everyone was just trying to digest everything that they had just saw and went through. But many people were not happy and took to their Twitter. Trendsetters, I'm going to let you all just pause and freeze frame whatever you do to read all these. I'm not going to read them verbatim. But this one, Miss Jamil, I agree with her. She said so many folks are trying to excuse Kanye wearing a White Lives Matter t-shirt as just a troll move or marketing. Maybe it is, but it's a dangerously dumb message. Jaden Smith also took to Twitter and said Black Lives Matter. Lucy Badass also took to Twitter, and he had a lot to say. He was feeling a type of way, and I don't blame him. You know, I just, I'm not going to read all that. I'm going to let you all read all that. But listen, trendsetters, I am so thankful I got to spend this time with you. And you know what? Support and love one another. Support and love your girl is free. Hit that like and subscribe button. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm. All right, fam. Love you. Bye.